Tonight, we take a look at a social media trend making waves in the beauty industry, the tween skin craze. It seems like skincare isn't just for adults anymore, but is it safe? We explore why tweens are diving headfirst into the world of beauty and what's behind it. I have like makeup remover, moisturizer, balancing mist. Eight-year-old Eleanor DeMeo has quite the skincare collection. As part of Generation Alpha, the third grader is the newest consumer in the beauty industry. When you're older, it'll probably make your face look good, and it's trending. It's trending. What's it trending on? TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. YouTube. They're seeing and following these influencers. There's a handful of them, like 18, 19, 20 years old, and they want all the products that person has. They want all the products she's using. They want everything she's using, but they're 9, 10, and 11, and they don't realize that 18 year old skin is different than nine year old skin. Beauty influencer Abby Rivera, who posts educational skincare videos on Instagram, says it's a good thing young girls want to take care of their skin. Take my nine-year-old Mia. It's a good habit. I hope she continues. But Rivera worries many girls are overdoing it. With all their stuff that they're throwing on their face, they're doing a science experiment on their face. You don't know what the outcome's going to be. We don't know. Eleanor's mom, Susie, admits this is all new to her, but she's doing her homework. We're Googling and also we, you know, we ask when we go because the, the employees in Sephora and Ulta are very knowledgeable, so we ask. And it's a big investment. I mean, it's not inexpensive. So you want to make sure that you're you're purchasing something that is beneficial to them and that they can use. Dr. Eric Rudnick, a Boca Raton dermatologist, says kids don't need to use serums and acids on their skin. These kids can get themselves into trouble without even knowing about it. He says the most important thing tweens can do is apply sunscreen daily. Dr. Rudnick worries girls are using products that are not age appropriate. If you're using a product that may make you susceptible to more sun sensitivity, so these retinols, these alpha and beta hydroxy acids, if kids are getting their hands on that and they don't know about proper sun protection, they then could have a, a burn outside and set themselves up for further photo damage down the line and potentially even a risk of skin cancer later on in life. He also recommends tweens and young girls keep their skincare routine basic a gentle cleanser, moisturizer, and add sunscreen. As for young Eleanor, she's still figuring out the best routine for her young skin. I use it every morning. She has quite the collection. Good job, you. Eleanor, <laughs> using it every morning. <laughs> so which product should young people avoid using on their skin? Well, doctors say they don't need retinol. Mm -hmm. It's too harsh for young skin. Avoid products with salicylic or glycolic acids or even beta and hydroxy acids. If you think your daughter is having a reaction to any product, keep an eye out for irritation, redness, inflammation, and any kind of acne breakouts, and make sure you take her to see a dermatologist.